my name is Stu and welcome back to some more Vault Hunters. And before we get into like what we're going to be doing today, which honestly I have no idea yet, uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support on the first two episodes of the series. I've gained a few subscribers off of it, so thank you guys for subscribing and thank you for the likes on the videos. Uh, like I said, it's very appreciated, it's very surprising, and I hope to continue to keep up the expectation of mining. Even though I said I wasn't going to. Somehow, in the midst of me mining, I have lost my, my wooden boxes. And I don't know if I brought them or if I have just simply threw them out while trying to clear my inventory and making sure I can get ores and stuff. This is great. This is cool. This is a good start of the video. Okay, so I've, I've, I've completely misplaced them. I, I've looked all over the place. I haven't been able to find them. And I do know, for the record, that these ores can't be used at all until we... Uh, we unlock them through here. So, just saying, I know, I know this, I know this. The main focus right now, though, is to get me some more damn boxes. I need more mm. boxes, because I'm not going to be able to do... It's going to be a lot of running back and forth if I don't find my boxes. So, I need to find that, but first I need to find my horse. He's all the way over there. Let's go to this village that's all the way over here. Can't wait to get there. Alrighty, we're back. I forgot to hit record uh, coming back to the village and then uh, I thought I was recording the whole time and I was having uh, some issues and I took some break and then I came back and then uh, irritated. I started wandering off. We went a little bit up north. We found a huge jungle. Super huge jungle. And uh, we got some bone. We got some cocoa beans and some stuff. But I also got these guys. Lenny the Parrot and I don't know what the name the wolf don't know what to name the wolf yet. But Lenny the parrot. And yeah, I've, I've been having issues. I don't know if I said it in the video already, but uh, I'm late to recording this. Uh, a few days late, actually. I've been working a lot, so I haven't had time to really do anything. And then the day off, uh, Elden Ring came out. And I wanted to, I wanted to play that. So, yeah. I haven't really done a lot. And my internet's out right now. <laughs> So you can see how my week's going so far. So I need resources. More importantly, I need dirt. So what I'm going to do is being chased by a zombie, apparently. But I'm going to uh, cut all of this area out. And I'm, I want to make a lake. I want to make a lake right here. I'm going, I've already traced out where I want the land to stop a little bit. And then I'm going to level this area out right here a bit. And then we're going to take out this part. We're going to fill, take out, fill. I, I hopefully need the dirt. I could be doing this all for nothing, but I didn't want to do do something like this 
or then not say anything about it because uh it's a big change it's a big change and i want to i want to get it done so let's do that and then we'll come back and see what happens we got to go with the flow and that's what i'm going to do i have gotten to a decent i am running out of space but i do know that you can do i'm pretty sure you can do this can you do this yeah, we can do that. Look at that. We've gotten to the point where I'm happy with it for right now, just because, well, I have too much damn dirt. And that, I do plan on going a little bit deeper than this. And by a little bit deeper, I mean I plan on, like, making it so that it matches at least that. But that does mean that I can move on to other things and get some resources and stuff so we can come back. And hopefully I can do it all in today i still need to work on the the design and stuff and i'm going to be uh focusing and pushing on that in creative world which i might take you guys over and discuss a little bit but for the most part we still have terrain to to figure out i need to figure out a mechanic uh that i want to do to make it so that it's automated i i really want to get the the building that's going to go here um fixed and sorted because I think it's going to be something that we have to have coming into this. Well, excuse you. All right, one last time that I'm bringing you guys in until we get to the main building. I got some materials. I'm hoping that this is enough to at least finish the build. Uh, at least the outer shell of it. I don't plan on finishing what's inside fully just because i gotta set up a few other things that and i'm time restrained i only have three hours less than three hours actually to complete the things we're going to have our own personal lack of two watch as we build this i, I took some pictures uh and hopefully i can do it all in one go so let us get this going and i'm gonna turn on some music and i'm just gonna grind out this build so let's go <laughs> It's not finished. There's some added details to it. There's texturizing for the cobble that we need to do. Um, but it is at the moment in a place where I can say, hey, look at it. It's kind of there. It's not meant to be just a tower. Uh, yeah, it's uh, we'll go into the creative world so I can give show you guys what it's meant to look like. Because like I said, I've been running short on time. Um, even right now, I'm less than, less than an hour away from when the video is due. So I do apologize for that, but let's hop into the creative world so I can show you guys what this is meant to be. But yeah, this is what the finished project's supposed to look like. And it kind of acts as multiple things. It acts as a place where, uh, our emerald, f uh, area is going to be in terms of villagers just being up here and multiple stages, layers. I think we have 28, 28 of them is what we're going for. Uh, this guy right here, it, which is, this is actually a really good um, setup uh, because it's just passive. I'm going to be in the area a lot. And uh, this is after AFKing for 
maybe a few hours. No, it, it's not. It's not maybe. It is. I if because I want to work outside of where the villagers are going to go. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with these rooms. Um, I think the bottom, bottom, bottom is going to be used for mainly storage. My plan is for the area around the windmill is to be just a giant wheat field uh, with some paths and some like uh, um, maybe some walls here and there just to like kind of give it meaning. It's it's just it's a pretty pretty up the area. I don't want the windmill just sitting on its own with this. I want it, I want there to be a reason for everything to be to feel like it is there. So yeah, I in between episodes this is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be working on this and then hopefully getting this situated and maybe cuz I think the next episode we're going to work on village expansion in terms of like we need to get we need to get a few things going we need to get um iron an iron farm going and we need to get a uh a villager breeder so that we can have just enough resources to actually do something but yeah that is what that's meant to be Alrighty, i think that's gonna have to be it for today because like it's like I've said multiple times in the episode, I'm running out of time. I know it's a short episode, but I do apologize for that. And I hope you guys enjoy nonetheless. Uh, we'll have to see you in the next episode. I hope you guys have a great day and farewell. Goodbye.